Zapier Central. This is the tool that I want to explore with you guys today. I've been playing around with it in the last few days. It seems very promising. It's basically an add-on or a new feature by the Zapier team, which to be honest, I don't use that much in the last few years or so because I've moved to different solutions. But still, I know many people, especially with in the no-code communities that don't really love um, doing tech stuff and just want to get things done, they use Zapier and Zapier is a great solution for this. Um, what I want to share with you today is, as I said, a new feature, which is called Central, which is basically, as you guessed, is an AI related solution. Zapier Central, first of all, as you guys probably know, Zapier has a ton of integrations to basically all famous and popular platforms out there, Slack, Salesforce, HubSpot, PayPal, Asana, Dropbox, Google Sheet, DocuSign, WordPress, Calendly, Twitch, anything to be honest. So with regards to being covered with different API routes, Zapier doesn't definitely does provide this. So basically what you can do with Zapier Central, let me show you an example, is you tell Zapier or the bot what you would like to achieve and it basically um, tells you how to create the automation and also suggests all the steps in the automation. So let's, let me show you an example. Let's, this is the backend. So let's create a new bot. We can call it demo bot. And as you can see here, it is greeting me. They have the similar interface like OpenAI. And basically you can tell it what you would like to achieve. So whenever a new row is added to my spreadsheet, send me an email to okay and now it is going to suggest exactly what is going to be the steps for the flow over here you can basically create a behavior which is the flow the automated flow the automated zaps and over here you can add different data sources so, so you connect you can connect Google Sheets, Google Docs, or Notion. This is amazing because this basically allows you to create knowledge bases which are constantly updating in opposing to what we have in most solutions at the moment, which you have to upload the knowledge base and you can update it on the fly. This allows you to add a spreadsheet which is dynamic or a Notion file or a Notion website, or I don't know how you call this, Notion notebook, which is dynamic. And these are going to be your constantly updating data sources. So this is what you can do with regards to add data source. And you can also create a behavior. Now let's see what the demo bot suggests. So he says, let me increase his size. To, to achieve this automation where you receive an email at your own bin, at outlook.com whenever a new row is added to your spreadsheet you can use zapier to set a workflow zap that connects your spreadsheet for example google sheets with an email service like outlook for example so the steps are as following choose your uh, spreadsheet app as a trigger log into zapier make a zap trigger the zap sign in test then set up an action to send an email these are exactly what, this is exactly what you need to add in the zap. Give a name to your zap and then basically you're good to go. Now, um, so these are the instructions. It's pretty straightforward in this use case and you don't need to be a rocket scientist in order to understand how to create this even without the AI bot. But let me show you the next step. So over here, you can basically create the instructions again. So let's for example, take this here, we add it here. And what it is going to do, it, it is already going to suggest the triggers. 
and the trigger is basically pretty straightforward and self-explanatory. It's the first step of the flow. So a new spreadsheet is added. And then it's going to suggest the action, which is sending an email. So you can see over here, let's say whenever a new spreadsheet row is added, I click this. I can select the specific spreadsheet. So let's say tools I use. This is a spreadsheet that contains many tools that I use with affiliate links. So let's say anytime I add an affiliate link to my directory of affiliate links, I can send an email to all of my followers. So this is the spreadsheet. I'm going to add the trigger. And then the, the action is going to be send an email. So this is already connected to my Gmail. Then I suggest the subject line who I want to send it to. So let's say in the spreadsheet I'd have, um, if it would be a, if it would has been a different spreadsheet with emails, I can add here as a dynamic field the email as a placeholder, and then basically you you elaborate all the data, subject, body type, what would you like the content of the body to be, etc. And then you hit the add action. And basically you have a, a Zapier flow up and running. You can test it over here. So we click the testing behavior and it's going to create a simulation of the actions. So it is sending the email. First of all, it took the last line from the flow. So this is the last line. It's Wallaxy. It's an automation for LinkedIn. And then it sent an email to Yaron Bean at Outlook. Let's see. I'm not sure if my Outlook is connected because it's only relevant for these demonstrations. But a few days ago, yes, as you can see here. A new row has been added to your spreadsheet. Name Wallaxy, row ID. Propose LinkedIn automation, etc. So this was completely automated. I didn't touch anything with regards to the content of the email or anything, but as you can see, it was very fast and very straightforward. So I think this is very promising for a few reasons. First of all, Zapier has a ton of integrations out of the box. Uh, and second of all, it just allows us to get up and running so much faster using the instructions. In the past, I used to build um, automation with Zapier and it took me a while to find out what was the correct uh, Zap that I should choose. So this simplifies the process. And another advantage is the fact that you have updating and dynamic and knowledge bases, which is also amazing and can be very useful. I guess that's it for today, guys. A very short video about this new feature called Zapier Central. By the way, I'm not an affiliate of Zapier. Um, as far as I recall, I don't have their affiliate link. Um, but I do think this is very promising. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any criticism, feedback, or suggestions for new videos, please leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, keep on automating.